No question of the week. Firstly, I just wanted to say I'm very nervous about this speech, so I prepared a few lines. I must admit, I feel a lot more relaxed after snorting them. <laughs> you can probably tell already that this speech won't be as gentle as Andy's and Paul's, but I thank you both for your speeches. For those who don't know me, my name is Louis and it's an absolute honour to be Andy's best man. I would like to thank Andy and Amy for asking me to be involved in the most important day of their lives. <coughs> I was going to start by talking about what happened on Andy's stag do, but this could be the shortest wedding on record, so I thought I'd keep those stories to myself. Instead, for this speech, I decided to tell you one interesting fact about me and Amy and one interesting fact about me and Andy. Both myself and Amy share the same birthday, the 19th of February. Being born on the 19th of February means you are on the cusp between two star signs, Aquarius and Pisces. Positive traits include honesty, affection, generosity, compassion, faithfulness and caring. Well, that's enough about me. <laughs> I suppose that Amy shares these traits too. Seriously, what more would you want in a person and now your wife? May I add, Amy, that you look absolutely stunning today also. Andy's turn. <clears throat> Me and Andy are both gambling addicts. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the main reason why we became such close friends. <laughs> Horse racing, football, casinos, you name it, it's always in the back of Andy's mind. <laughs> However, upon meeting Amy, he seems to have settled down now that his home page is set to gambleaware.co.uk. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few weeks ago, I took Andy and Amy to the Genting Casino in Sheffield. It was on that night I realised it was Amy who wore the trousers in this relationship. <laughs> Although in the long run, I think that's for the best. Strangely enough, I actually grew up in the same class as Andy's sister Emma at secondary school. So he always thought there was more chance of being Emma's maid of honour than Andy's best man. <laughs> but I didn't get invited to their wedding. <laughs> so I'll have to make do with my second best choice. <laughs> I would like to thank everybody com for coming today. A lot of people have travelled quite a distance to get here. But unfortunately, Weatherspoons in Doncaster was fully booked today, <laughs> so here we are. It's amazing to see how far people will travel for a free meal. <laughs> Seriously, I know nobody would have, would have missed today in a million years being in the presence of Andy and Amy on their wedding day. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate them both. It's been a very emotional day. Even the cake is in tears. <laughs> I would now like to propose a toast. If you'd all like to stand and raise your glasses. <laughs> may your life be filled with love and laughter, and may this be the beginning of a great romance. To the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. Thank you. Thank you.